Yeah. It's okay. Thank you. What's your name? What's your name? Uh. What's your name? Uh. Name, name. Nodora, Nodora. Nod Nodora. Uh. Okay, good, good, good. Selling flowers. Asha. Rosa. Asha. Rose. Asha, Asha. Ten. That's expensive. Asha, Asha. Five. That's expensive. Are oh, you dropping them? Thank you. Asha. It's okay. I've got no one to give them to, sadly. No, thank you. You know. Careful, careful. No. Five, five, yeah. I'll have, the, I'll have the red one. Yeah? For five, you're going to give me the red one. I've got no, I've got no one to give it to. Yeah? So, I've got no one to give this to. Red one. Come on, red one. Go on. Come on, red one. But I give this to you. Here you go. For you. Andy, Andy. It's okay. <laughs> I've got no one to give that red rose to. So I give it to her. Her mum was with her and uh, they saw a few tourists on the other side so um, they quickly scarpered as well they got the hustle you know they're making money on a uh, quiet day such as this it's a very good morning from uh, Cairo I'm just uh, crossing the bridge towards uh, this over the Nile actually crossing over it's actually a Friday and uh, a lot of the shops are shut and this is actually is Friday traffic which would be normal in most countries but because Cairo is a busy place and it's congested there's a lot of traffic I mean look this this side of the road's got no cars coming in I can only just see one now coming in it's actually nice to see Cairo this quiet because ever since I arrived here it's been hectic, way, way hectic. I was over in that uh, side of the Nile actually a few times. I took a boat ride from there as well. And uh, I thought I'd come over to see what the other side of the Nile was like. In this direction, there's a casino there as well. Casino El Neil. Not sure what El, who El Neil is. Mr. Neil. But I think there's some... Th some things are going on in that direction there they've got actually they've got the bigger boats in over that direction and those uh, type of smaller boats that I took a ride on so uh, and there's a lot more restaurant type places I think on this side whereas there wasn't on the other side it's more open more open there's a ch children's playground as well on that side just heading over the bridge now the day is fantastic the Sun is out even a little bit of breeze it might ruin the sound actually for the vlog but for my forehead it's pretty good because uh, Cairo is hot but he's uh, got no business hello horsey how you doing you good yeah the horse is good the horse is doing good Another taxi driver there searching for customers but I think he just uh, disappeared because um, he thought I'm not getting anything here because oh, actually I feel sorry for the um, taxi drivers because I've been approached by quite a few there's one guy saying I'll take you to Giza to see the pyramids and I think they're just struggling because normally uh, you you have to stop taxis they don't stop you so you've got to find an empty one because you're in the rush hour which is pretty much all the hours you know the taxis are busy they're so busy got one of those nice smaller boats over there paddling away I'm not sure if they're selling something or if they maybe they are maybe they live on the boat I don't know not quite sure but it's all happening in uh, Cairo just approaching Tahir Square there in the background I'm I'm not allowed to film there, so I won't, turn, I won't uh, turn the camera on when I'm there. But even here, it's quiet. Now, these streets are absolutely dead. We've got a few cyclists. They've livened things up, the cyclists. They've livened it up. Just got Tahir Square in the background over there, and uh, it's quiet. Man, these streets are so quiet. It's actually quite nice, like I say, to see things here. Very, very quiet. 
but it just means that there's not much happening it's just the restaurants actually in the juice bars a couple of shops may be open but in general I mean look how silent this this is the uh, road in which my hotel is on and this place has got horns blazing away one or two three o'clock in the morning it really is a 24-hour city except on Fridays there's a couple of motorbikes making the noise here if you are in Cairo on a Friday make sure you plan well because a lot of things won't be open but food places restaurants is fine it's not a problem restaurants such as Falfala they're open that's a place that does shawarma and other dishes there's a juice bar next to it they're also open so food you won't have a problem with on a Friday but you know there's a, a lot of the sites will be closed and uh, it is a holiday and Friday prayers as well will be taking place sometime later on as well also Tarab Square as well the second main square where we are after Tahir Square also empty not much happening here been told that most of the bazaars are shut as well so if you see my video on the bazaars that were here and the crowds and the the noise that was going on the noise levels were deafening it's uh, I mean look at this very rare to see this here's some more cyclists actually the cyclists are bringing in the crowds today Actually, I'm not sure what this is what this is going on here got like a leader over here I'm not sure what he's leading and then we've got a group of cyclists let's see what the fuss is about maybe this is when they come out on Fridays when the when the traffic's not here there seems to be some sort of event going on not quite sure what is happening here some good some good bikes here actually see some good expensive bikes over here This is the loudest that I've seen it here today. The bikers, a few more cyclists coming over here. Just walking along one of those lanes and uh, it was actually Friday prayers were taking place. And so a lot of people were doing their prayers just outside this area over here that you can see just across there. You can see the carpets, the, the rug is just there as well. I'm sitting opposite an air, an air conditioner and uh, hopefully the noise isn't ruining my vlog but it really is a quiet Friday and there's hardly anyone out it's I didn't know it was going to be this bad uh, or good actually depending upon which way you look at it because I've been visiting the bazaars of Cairo and they've been packed crowded lots of noise uh, and it's just too much commotion there so to see it uh, quiet Cairo that this quiet on a Friday is it's amazing so you know I, I think if anyone's down here visiting Cairo Friday would actually be a good day to start with just to kind of ease you in into things because it is very very quiet here very very relaxed and uh, I, I think um, probably the best time to visit would be on a Friday and then you can you know trust me Saturday when you get out in Cairo and you hear the horns and it's loud the hustlers are hustling trying to sell you everything ranging from books to flowers to tissues to drinks you name it they're out there so you know do come along on a Friday uh, to start with I think and I'll visit in this restaurant over here it's quiet at the moment because uh, I think probably people have a late lunch I guess it's gone uh, midday uh, close to half 12 now and uh, you know this this place is actually uh, still quiet I'll just get up to show you exactly where I am if uh, just trying to get my bearings right uh, Tahir Square is probably in that direction over there so you've got to walk out this way but over here this road was uh, this street uh, it's pedestrianized actually was full with um, people um, having their Friday prayers so uh, it is quite a um, 
a unique day for me. I wasn't expecting this when I woke up this morning. I was expecting, to, I actually wanted to film the bazaars, which I filmed, um, the, the, the video for that is um, already uh, online. It's on my channel. I thought I'd go there and this time maybe visit the fruit bazaars, but you know, they, they, those, those are quiet. There's nothing there. And the streets are just empty. So I guess it's um, everyone's uh, having it as a holiday, just as we in England have our holiday on a Sunday. But even now, most things are generally open till about four o'clock, I guess. But here, most things are shut. And uh, some of the restaurants are even shut. There was a restaurant that I wanted to go to, but that's closed. There's an ice cream parlor next to me. That was open for maybe a couple of hours this morning. That's shut. So uh, yeah, if you come into Cairo, first time visit, and it's a Friday, yeah, be prepared for a shock when you see a lot of things closed. But I'm gonna tuck into my uh, meal uh, in this uh, restaurant i'm not sure what the name is i just found it i was looking for somewhere and i thought why not to stop here i can't be bothered walking anymore down these empty streets of cairo so i'm gonna eat my food <laughs> 